Welcome back tech friends, my name's Gareth, this is Evan. Today we're going to be smashing out another PC build. This one's quite special, it's for him and he is only 11 year old. It's got a 4090, a 7950 X3D, 32 gigs worth of DDR5, a 1000 watt power supply, a 2 terabyte 980 Pro, the latest liquid freezer from Arctic 360 all-in-one, and on a B650 motherboard because I don't have any other white ones. We're going to be building it in this MW808 case from Sahara Gaming. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. You've never actually built a computer before, even though your dad has built hundreds, yeah? yeah? So out of all these parts, which ones do you think we're going to need first? I don't know, this one. What's that? Um, is it a motherboard? It is a motherboard, yeah. So we're going to need a motherboard. In the motherboard goes our NVMe, which is our storage. Okay. We're also going to put our RAM, which is this one. And we're also going to put this beast, which is the 7950X3D as well. So we'll start with that and we'll clear everything else off so we've got plenty of room. Excited? Very. <laughs> Come on then. Right. So let's clear off this desk. PC. Let's get this one out, Ebs. Yeah? yeah. So okay. this is our motherboard. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the back. Get this out. All these are brand new as well, you know. Oh, nice. So let's have a quick look at this. That looks good. It's a bit more silvery than what I expected. I wanted it as white as white could be, but... It's a bit it, silver, a bit white. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can do it. It's fine. Right, so we'll put that one there. So the safest place for this when you're building it is on here, like this. So you're not going to damage anything on yeah. the back, yeah? This is probably the hardest thing that you're going to do, especially if you've never built one, because this is mega expensive. Yeah. Okay? So I want you to press this down and push it that way. Press it down and push that way. There you go. Now, if we open that up, our socket will open up, yeah? Yeah. When we take our 7950X3D out. Does it fit into that? It fits into there, yeah. Is that where it goes? Exactly. I don't know why that little thing comes in a big box. Right, can you see this triangle up here? Yeah. Yeah? Can you see this triangle here? Mm -hmm. You need to hold it on the sides like this and you need to lower it in very steady. Very low down. There you go, don't press down. Can you see how that went nicely into position? Yeah. You did amazing. What we're going to do now is we're going to lower this arm down and can you see this catch? Oh yeah. Put it under there. That's going to be pressed onto there and then you've got to force this down under there. Keep going. Don't let go. Force it down. Can you do can you do it? God, that was hard work. Can you peel that out? Go on. There we go. You've installed your first CPU. God, that was quite easy. <laughs> Next up, guys, is our two terabyte NVMe, which is our 980 Pro. Again, we are going to be placing this, even though it has got two slots, we're going to be placing it on our top one because we've only actually got one drive. Let's get this one open. I'll deal with the knives, yeah? Yeah. In order to install our NVMe, guys, really, really straightforward. We're just going to remove this screw here and this screw here. Can you do that? Yeah. There you go. That's it. And then this one. There you go. Keep going. Oh, there we go. Is that one fully undone? No. I'll just do that one. There we go. That's done. It's going to slot into here. Can you see that little groove there? Yeah. And there's a little groove here, yeah? Yeah. In there like that, yeah? It needs to go in at a 20, 25 degree angle like that. If you try and push it in straight, it won't go in. At an angle, push it forward slightly. There you go. Now it bounces up and down, look. Uh, yeah. Can you see that little catch there, look? Yeah. Does it help put it put into there? That's exactly what it does, yeah. If it's all the way around there like that, it won't sit down, yeah? Yeah. But what we can do is once it's not there, we can just fold it round and that holds that down. Oh, nice. So you've installed CPU and an NVMe. Nice. Next thing 
this is good for you because you've got tiny fingers. Can you peel this film off of the back of here for me? That's satisfying. <laughs> Put that there. You don't need that. Right. So this, don't get your fingers on that bit. We need to install back across here. That's it. And then this one. Done. Boom. <laughs> Next up is our Clev DDR5. This is Crass XR5, 32 gigs at 6,000 mega transfers per second in white as well. That looks good. You like these ones, eh? Yeah. Why? I like them. It's got white. RGB on it. I don't know, but I like the white and the black. It's smooth. Now, can you see that this here is not the right in the middle? Yeah. It's more this way, isn't it? Yeah. Can you see these? Yeah. These, these are called your dim slots, yeah? yeah. Now, if I try and put this in the wrong way, right, like this, I'll open that one up and I'll slot it in like that. Yeah. It, it won't actually go in. Would you have to do it the other way? Correct, yeah. Well, we want A2 and B2. So which ones do you think that is? That one and that one. We want to be installing these into here. So you have to put this end in and that end in together. Hand on this side, hand on this side, and push straight down. Don't push it that way. Keep going. Come on. Downwards, and that one, on that side. There we go. Where's all your muscles? Yeah? <laughs> right, so we said that it goes in A2 and B2. Yeah. So which one does this go in? A2. Right, you put that one in then. The second slot, yeah? yeah? Why don't you put your hand flat like that and then push it down? That's that side. There you go. It's a bit, ooh. Yeah. yeah, because it's a brand new motherboard and because you've never done it before, you're not sure how hard to push, are you? No. But sometimes they I take a. It would have gone in a bit easier. Yeah. Sometimes you need to press a little bit harder. Yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to get the motherboard into the case. Okay. Yeah. So this is the M808W case, guys. M80X case, front glass and side panels as well. Comes with four included RGB fans. We have bought another three or four of these as well. So we're going to have it all decked out in RGB. But the great thing, Ebs. What do you think? It looks good. I, I really like the white and the width of it. I'm happy to put all the parts in. Yeah, good. Well, the great thing about this case, guys, it's $79.99 on Amazon right now. But if you went onto Sahara Gaming's website, it's less than £70. And I think that that is an absolute steal with the included uh, fans as well. So let's get your motherboard in here. Okay. And we put it on its side so then the glass side panel don't fall off, yeah? Yeah. So now that we can take this off, you go. Uh. Hey, don't trick me like that. Pick up our motherboard. If you lean it on my hand and keep hold of that other side. All right, let go of this side. Keep hold of that side. Yeah. Push it over a little bit. There we go. Right, is it all lined up now, yeah? Yeah, looks like it. We're going to use a different screwdriver this time. It's long. Let's show everybody the screws we're using. So we're using these screws here, guys. The ones with the nice heads on. It makes good contact with the grounding pins. So, oh, you want me to do these ones? Yeah, I'll do them. Right, so you just pop them in. Just go. Turn to the right and you don't go too tight. You do that one. Good lad. Keep going. That's it. You, what were you going to screw in there? You haven't even got a screw to screw in. Right, top one. It's not going to come off, it's magnetic. Yeah. Oh, okay. is, that, is that good enough? I'll do a bit more, just in case. That's it? Yeah, that's good. So now we've screwed in our motherboard into our case using yeah. all of the screws. So first CPU install, first time you put RAM in, first time you've installed the NVMe and first time you installed your actual uh, motherboard into the case, yeah? Yeah, I know. So now, the next thing, which is the hardest, we're gonna do the cooler. 
Yeah? Okay. Is the cooler the part what makes the like PC not overheat? That's exactly what the cooler is. It's this bad boy here. And guys, for anyone that doesn't know, Liquid Freezer 2 360s were some of the best all-in-ones that you could actually buy. Price and performance. And this I'm really excited about. It's all in white, it's 360 degrees, it's the ARGB version, and it's the Liquid Freezer 3. So if it's anything like the other one, it's gonna be good. You can unbox it then, let's have a look what's inside. That's it. That nice. looks nice, doesn't yeah, it? That's good. <laughs> let's take it out little bit by little bit, okay, because we want to make sure that everything stays and we know where everything is. So we've got our pump and our copper heat pipe on the bottom. We've got our housing unit, which is here. Under here, we've got more goodies. It sure does come with a lot of stuff. It does, doesn't it? And the great thing, Eben, about this... Whoa, that looks cool. It's already got all the fans all installed as well. Do you want to put that on the floor for me? What do we get in here? This is all the Sounds goodies. Like screws. Screws it is. Da, 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 da. We've got all these look. Nice. Right. So we'll put all the rubbish to the back because that's all boring. Yeah. yeah. We've got our housing unit, which is here. Look at that. Ooh. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. And then this will go on here. Like this. Yeah? Yeah. So that, once we've removed this, that will push into here like this. Oh, yeah and all clip on and then that's what you see the front. We're going to be putting this at the top up here. Oh yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. And then these tubes come round and attach onto our CPU so it don't overheat. Yeah. Yeah? Like you said before, all right? Then these fans turn around and they blow air through the radiator out the top of the case, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off our filter. We'll take off our back panel, undo these. You can do it with your fingers, I think. I don't have my fingers on if I can. Oh, you better use that screwdriver, you weakling. Other way. Righty tighty, lefty undoy. Right, don't make sense. <laughs> lefty loosey, righty tighty. That's it, keep going. That's it, next one. Side panel can come off. What we're going to do is we're going to push this in here whoo, tight. It looks bigger in the PC than it does in person. That is going to go up here like this. Okay. That's going to look amazing. Yeah. That's going to look amazing. I like the idea of full white PC. You like the idea of it? Yeah. Right. White looks better than black. White looks better than black? Yeah. Well, it all depends on what you're building, doesn't it? First thing we're going to do. Right, yeah. grab your screwdriver. We need to remove these four screws, okay? Yeah. Be very careful and turn left, loosey loosey. Turn it then. I really need to get you in that gym. There we go. There we go. Come on then. Feels like it's stuck. Oh, you want to go slow? Yeah. It's magnetic, yeah? Oh, yeah. Take it out. There you go. Go, Next one. one. Yeah, there we go. I know how to do it now. You know how to do it now? Yeah. Come on then, that one. Right. Take out that for me, the black bit. There you go, good man. I'll do these. It's a good job I've got like three memory cards. So that means now we've removed all the hardware. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think the next bit is? Putting different ones on. We need to put these four black things on each corner of these. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go on then, let's do that. You can have one, I'll have one. Okay. Which side does it Don't matter, on? just put one on either side, like that. That's it. Are we doing this together, are we? Yeah. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Then we need to get our posts, yeah. or, or our, I don't know what you call them, our brackets. Yeah, right? we'll just call it that. And that one goes in there, like that, and the other one goes on. Can you pass me two of them screws? Yeah. I'll do this one and you can do the other one, yeah? Yeah. So, 
again the magnetic okay so let me get mine on and then you can uh, oh look see this is why i said sometimes it's easier put the screw in first yeah so we'll do that like that and just tighten it down a little bit and then we can lift it up put it into place and then get the other one yeah. put the other one in yeah mega mega important you don't need to over tighten these but they do need to be tight Let's see if you can do it any better oh see it's not as easy as you think is it no you've got to have them light fingers you can do that side i do side you do a side if we get this like this you can do me a favor and hold that right okay. we're going to lower this into here nice and gently then we've got loads and loads of space okay right but what we need to do is we're going to get our control cable okay and we're going to need this in order to control these fans on there and this cable here is for our five volt addressable header so they all light up oh yeah this is for lighting this is for powering them yeah yeah are you sure yeah you got this yeah you know what you're doing then yeah yeah all right then there you go what <laughs> this one goes into here and then this one is going to go on to here, CPU fan header. Can you see this connector here? Yeah. Right, that, can you see these little things on the side? Yeah. Yeah, that's got to go into here. So you need to push it into there like that, yeah? There we so go. I don't wanna ruin the wire. I know, I know. Right, so that comes around here like this. If I can get it round, there we go. That comes around there like that, and then comes out there like that, yeah? Oh, that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, keep it like that. Do you like that, like that? Yeah, put it on like that. I like that. Yeah, same. I like that. We need to put some thermal paste on here. I'm gonna let you do this. So it's like a syringe. Thank you. you put your fingers there, and then you press, to, don't press mega hard though, yeah? No, onto here. Okay. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. No more, keep it, don't matter. It, it, it is what it is. I can't control it. You can't control it? Look at the state of that. I'm sorry. That will get spread around, so you don't need to worry. Well, yeah? it will get like squashed. Yeah, when you put this on top of it, it's all gonna squash down, all right? Yeah. But what we should really be doing is putting a pea size shape in the middle or doing an X so you get an even yeah, spread. I, I was gonna do an X, that's what I was gonna What, were you gonna do it, an X all around here? No, just in the thing. <laughs> Right, next thing, you need to peel this off. There's a peeler here, look. Keep going. Oh, that's so satisfying. Get out on it, get it off. So what we're gonna do is just move our cables out the way. We're gonna turn this around like this, and we could have tightened this down, yeah? Yeah. But we haven't done, all right? We'll do that later. But what we're gonna do is put them on there like that and tighten it up. We're gonna screw that one in there and that one into there. When are we gonna take that film off? We'll do that afterwards, yeah? Yeah. I can't wait to test this out. Next thing, we need to secure our radiator to our case, okay? Radiator? What's a radiator? This is a radiator and these are our fans. Oh, okay. Okay, so see we've got the small screws yeah. And the washers. Washers. Yeah? Yeah. Right. We go like this. We put one over the other. And then what we're going to do is we're going to line this up. And then we're just going to screw it into these holes. Like this. How much holes are there? I can only see one. That's because we need to line it up properly. All right? Yeah. Oh, nice. So, what I'll do is I'll do the first couple for you. Yeah. And then we'll turn it around. So you've got plenty of room. Righty tighty. Righty tighty. How many times have I said that? Keep going then. There you go. Nice. There. Next one, next one, next one, next one. And we'll be back in about half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> it's the right screw. Yep. Okay. Last one. Done. Is that it? Yeah. Boom. Right, so. I'm a master. You're a master? I'll tell you what, look how slick that looks. Yeah. 
Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. We've got our fans set as an exhaust, so when these spin, it's going to blow air out the top of there. And our motherboard, CPU. Everything like installed. That. Yeah. Yeah, nearly everything. Right, because you've got little girly hands. <laughs> right. We've got two cables coming here. Right. Yeah. So, this one says, what does that say? CPU. Right, and then this one goes, it doesn't say anything on this, but it's a three pin, five volt addressable header. Okay. Yeah. So, what we want to do is, can you see where it says up there, CPU fan one? Yeah. Right. How many holes are in the bottom of there? Four. How many pins are on there? Four. Right. Can you see this where it's got like a sled on the back? Yeah. That needs to slide onto that black thing there. So slide it onto the four pins and onto the black thing. Yeah, that was it. Push it down. Boom! Yes, sunshine! That was so easy. All right, then. What we have to do now is we need, need to figure out how we're going to hide these cables, but we'll do all that off At camera. The yeah, they don't need to see that, no, right? It's boring. And then also this, this is a, a five volt addressable header. And up here, we've got a three pins and we've got four pins. The three pins is for five volts and the four pins is for 12 volts. Right, can you feel how it's fitted in now? Yeah. And then you have to push it down. Whee! There you go. So you've just attached your five volt and your CPU header now. Yeah. So now it's going to light all these fans up and it's it going to turn them. Go push it then. Let's have a look. There we go. Magnetic. Yeah. Now how sick does that look? The cool thing about these particular fans, guys, is they're very much like the Leon Lee ones. Now, obviously they're nowhere near the cost of the Leon Lee ones, but that's to be expected. They do actually connect very similarly to those ones though. So all we've got to do, I mean, look at all these these mirrors on these Ebs. Oh no. Oh, I wanted to do that. <laughs> I wanted to do that. I'll let you do all of them in the case. How about that? Yeah, okay. Pretty look, uh, good looking. You've got a mirror in the front here, mirrors down the sides and all RGB around the front. Yeah. Yeah, and all on the sides as well. Can you see here, this black connector? Yeah. Right? All that's going to happen is we're going to line that up like that. Yeah. And then we're going to push them together. And now... Let's connect. Yeah. And then they, don't they go in them little two spaces? Yeah, that's yeah, where they're going. How cool is that? Cool. Can you see that bit there? Yeah. That's going to fit into there and push forward. Oh, okay. Well then, make sure it sits in, push down and forward. That's it. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. And then off of this particular set of fans, you've got, again, a three pin. What does the three pin do? It goes into... It lights everything up. Yeah. And what's the other one do? Powers them, makes them all spin. Yeah. And you've got a daisy chain so you can link them all together and a daisy chain off this so you can link them all together. Come on then, let's see some moose schools. Oh my God. Have you ever seen anyone turn a screwdriver so slow in your whole life? We're not going to touch any of the cables at the minute. We're going to leave that right till the end. Just yeah. nobody wants to see no, um, everybody do all that bit. But I'll just tell you where to plug them in and then you can plug them in. Yeah. yeah? But let's turn it round. It looks good so far. Well, we've got these cables to sort out here. Yeah. But what's happening here is we've got three reverse uh, fan blades on the bottom. They're going to be blowing air in. We've got two on the side, which is blowing air in. Yeah. And then we've got these three at the top and this one at the back that are blowing air out. Yeah. So these are called intake. These are out. called exhaust. Oh, okay. Outtake. I thought it was intake, outtake. Yeah, you could say that. But what do you reckon? It looks good so far. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah? I'd have loved to have had a pure white motherboard, but we don't yeah. have any, do we? Changes the theme of it. Black motherboard, white pieces. Yeah, but it still looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Happy? Yeah. Right, let's get the power supply in. So power supply of choice is this MSI Mag A1000G PCIe Gen 5. And it is an ATX3 power supply, guys. 
I absolutely love this particular power supply. Regularly in stock, not badly priced. It's about £160. I use it in my own personal build as well. Don't think you can actually go wrong. Fully modular, decent power connectors, decent braided connectivity as well. Fully modular and gold rated to 80 plus as well. So 10 year warranty as well, which is always a bonus when you're spending a fortune on computer parts. So don't cheap out on this. Yeah. yeah? You sure? Yeah. What's this do? It powers it all up. You got it. Power supply. Correct. So let's get this all out. We'll make all the connections and I'll show him putting it in. Most important thing, Evan, when we're installing power supplies is we need to ensure that it's against a ventilated area. If I put that fan against this back panel here. It's not going to like cool it. Is, well, you're not going to be able to breathe, is it? No. Yeah. So we need to ensure when we're putting it in like it this, it comes out on the other side. Yeah. So it's going to go in there like that. Yeah. Yeah. And what we need to do is put four screws in this front, which you're going to do now mm -hmm. and lock it in. At least we're going a bit faster now. That's it. Don't need to go too tight. Next big one. These ones here. Look. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ones. Biggie ones. You see down the bottom? Oh, yeah. And if it's not going in, it's because you've not got the screw straight, yeah? Good man. Good lad, that's it. We're going to actually push all of our cables through to the front of the case. We're going to make all of these connections and we'll be back very shortly where he installs his RTX 4090 into here. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> So we've finally reached the best bit of any PC building, uh, guys, and that is the graphics card. We finally got to this point. You needed a little bit help with the cables, yeah? Yeah, I couldn't do it by myself. Yeah, because there's quite a few, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. But we have got to that point that you've been really excited about, yeah? Yeah. And this is a bad boy, and it's a big boy as well. And I've already seen we've got a potential problem here because we've got this cable that's, well, it's obviously connecting to these fans to this rear fan here. So I think we're gonna just put that round the back there and then we'll figure out how to do it. Do you want me to lower it in and then you push it into place when we've got it in? Yeah. Right, okay, you come around this side then. Because this is heavy. Okay. Feel how heavy it is? Yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> you hold that cable there, right. Let's lower this in. I hope we can put it in. I'm, I'm hoping it will fit in as well. Trust me. There you go. Good lad. Have I done it? That's it. We've done it. Yeah? Yeah. We're just going to connect this cable into there. Yeah. And this is your high voltage power cable. Then we're going to sort this stupid cable out here. Right. And then test it. we're going to test it. So we'll be back very shortly where we check whether everything's actually been connected correctly and he's either smiling or he's crying. We are gonna see if everything turns on, yeah? yeah? And then we'll show you a little bit about building in this particular case and what we thought about it, yeah? yeah? Right, first thing we have to do is turn your power switch on. Right, then your big button at the front. <laughs> that's not bad. Well, that's cool. That's sick. That's pretty nice, Ed. That is cool. Everything's working, Sunshine. Yeah. How oh, good. And you know why everything's all synced up already? Because we've got your five volt addressable header for all the fans onto your motherboard. Yeah. yeah? That looks sick. And look at that look. Mm. Yeah. So for the people that know, that is the BIOS, guys. And that's a very nice place to be. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have a quick look. We've got our B650 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. We've got our Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. We've got our two terabyte NVMe Gen 4 drive, which is there. In terms of our RAM, we have got installed in here our 32 gigs worth of Clev at 16 gigs. And we've not profiled one. We've not applied DOCP or the overclocks on the RAM yet, but... Good. Pretty good. CPU idle temperature is at 34 degrees, where I would expect it to be, in all honesty, 
um, they do idle much higher. But I'm really pleased, Ebs, that we got through to BIOS really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Now the arduous task of loading on Windows, putting all your drivers on, downloading all your games and everything else. So let's turn it this way and let you have a look at your prize. So what do you reckon to, I mean, look at them colours. I know the colours are really good. I can't wait to play it. I'm really excited. What do you mean? Did you not like building it? I did like building it, but some, some parts were like really hard and easy. Some parts were really hard and some parts were yeah. easy. So what would you say the hardest part was? Oh, like doing all the wires because you've got all the wires and putting them in different places and it's just a nightmare. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. My 11-year-old has said the best bit was putting the CPU and the graphics card in and the worst part was doing all the wiring. I think I can attest that I feel exactly the same way. But that being said, the wiring always looks a lot better when you took your time and took a little bit of care and attention as well. So overall, this has, well, I'll turn it back round so you guys can see it in all its glory. But in all honesty, guys, it was really, really nice to build in. Now, I have got a couple of points. And if you haven't seen my review on this case, or my unboxing and first impressions, go and have a look at that. I'll leave that up in the top right-hand corner. But now I've built in this case, I think um, there's a few things. Number one, do I think it's good value? Absolutely. At £70, it's an absolute steal. Four included RGB fans, it's insane, yeah? Um, I think that with it being a dual chamber uh, kind of case, with it being full glass on one side and back in that fish tank look, it looks really, really nice. I love the fans. Couple of things that I don't like. I hate the fact it don't have grommets. I hate it. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare. Second of all, the cable that connects from this fan to this particular fans down here, I've kind of hidden it so you can't really see it but you need to do a little bit of thinking of how you're gonna route that particular cable because it weren't very clever. If you're gonna be putting two and a half slot or three slot graphics cards in this particular case, then look at the width in between the fans and the actual graphics card. There was no way that I could get this high voltage cable underneath there without it catching on the GPU fans or the case fans either. So that's why we've routed it across the top. Um, other than that, Air flow's absolutely fantastic. On top, I would also say that the case needs to be raised a little bit because the only way I can get rid of this little bit of annoyingness here where this uh, mesh filter doesn't actually sit straight is by not using the washers to hold the radiator in, um, which is quite annoying because it's best practice to use the washers so your radiator don't pull through. But apart from that, plenty of room in the back in terms of cable management. I'm really pleased that I've had my son build his first computer with me. And what a computer to actually build, guys. 7950X3D and a 4090 as well. So this will pair very nicely with your 4K 144Hz monitor. And you'll be able to play Fortnite as much as you want then. Yeah. Yeah? Excited? Yeah, yeah very. Yeah? So have you got anything to say to anyone? Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from him. Take it easy, guys. All the very best. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.